Hello and welcome to another episode of Spare Time Gardening with me, Simon. Today I'm in the conservatory. In this episode we're having a quick tour of the garden, now we're into May. The weather's quite nice, although it is quite windy today. I'll also be planting some sunflowers from the Sunflower Challenge, uh, from seed I saved from last year. And I'll also be sowing some runner beans, Some uh, the variety is Firestorm. I'm only putting a few in this year, so I might put either five or six in. Uh, in years past I've put between 10 and 20 and I have far too many beans that I can eat myself. Uh, so I'm going to cut right back this year. Enjoy! So here we are in the greenhouse, so a quick update, so here's the geranium seedlings, all transplanted. If I just quickly look down here, there's a few more you can see that need transplanting and moving, potting on. The side of it is the levity area, pink loveliness, um, doing great, so ready for planting out. The side of that was the second sowing of zinnia. Those were planted on the 31st of March, looking lovely. The Cosmos Picker Tea, again, looking great, we've got a flower on that. What I will be doing is when we're planting those out, what I would suggest, although you've got buds on them, what I'll do is I'll pinch the tops out. So as an example, let's just take this one. So just take it there, pinch it out, take off that top growth. Might feel a little bit drastic, but that way, you'll then get a much bushier, healthy plant. But these are the ones that you remember were quite leggy, um, recovered perfectly, uh, and be lovely planted out in the, in the garden very soon. Up here we've got tomato sweet aperitif from my own seed. Uh, there's four there, there's some further down on another shelf. Um, but yeah, looking great, they'll have to go in the, in the grow bags very soon. Here, just on this side is the fuchsia pink fizz which grew from seed and again success with those that were great here's four hot peppers again looking lovely got some rather dry lettuce that's all year round lettuce and beetroot i'm going to sow some more in the in the veg patch uh, which i'll be doing very soon uh, on the next shelf down, here's the petunia. If you look at those, remember how tiny those seeds were? Look at them now. Putting on stacks of growth. Uh, and to be honest, probably ready for going out. So again, once we know that the last frosts have passed, because you can still get a frost in May, uh, I'll then be potting up the hanging basket. So keep watching for another update on those videos. Down here is the Lobelia Crystal Palace. Again, if you remember how tiny those seedlings were, but transplanted and all doing really well. Those ones that have got really dark blue flowers. Uh, those are the seedlings that are left over, the Lobelia. Uh, again, got some spares, so I might plant those up. Further down, I've got Second Stone of Cosmos. Again, looking lovely. Um, and putting on loads of growth and here are some Rebecca which are sowed on the 4th of April and um, if I just quickly glance across those ones I've transplanted potted on uh, and these are some that are just left these are, are desperate for, for potting on so I'll need to crack on with that uh, just directly below me there's not a lot of room in the greenhouse because they're all the seedlings I've got uh, here we've got courgettes um, and I noticed that they're starting to put on. If you just notice down there, if you can make it out as a flower. These are desperate for going out, so they're going to go into a veg patch very soon. Got cucumbers hiding just underneath there. Again, those will need to go into the grow bags again as soon as possible, really. And here we've got red onion, uh, grown from sets. Again, 
really need to go out so we are uh, you know, desperate for some decent weather uh, with all the frost disappearing and get working on the veg patch and just lastly show you these these are the fuchsia pink fizz grown from seed that I transplanted again looking great so I've got another collection there uh, it's our 18 sorry 15 uh, 15 seedlings there and uh, all doing really well so I need to transplant some more so I say if we just go back to the cosmos again don't be frightened of pinching out even if you've got flowers like this one here it's got buds on it I'm just gonna nip in there just nip it out you'll get a much stronger plant than a bushier plant with more flowers by doing that so again there's another one here that's just again quite low down nip it out before the next set of leaves and again looks harsh but uh, the rewards will be so much better come uh, come summer time when they're full of flower so let's have a quick nosy around the borders although there's not a lot happening uh, and i have to excuse the uh, the wind it's quite windy here today so as i said very get on there I need to crack on with that now you might have seen this in another video but this is my rhubarb and uh, let's just see if we get an angle that's the size of the greenhouse and it's flowered um, again flowers when it's under stress apparently um, I don't whether to pull the flower stalk out or not I was in two minds whether to pull it out um, or leave it so I've decided to leave it um, but yeah look at that that's just if I just step back that's it's taller than I than I am. I'm five foot six. Um, but yeah, it's uh, crazy. Not a lot happening in this bottom bed, as you can see. So we need to get the uh, get the bedding plants in. Although the alliums are just starting to to burst open. Uh, and I love a, I love an allium. The garden's full of them. So uh, so yeah, really good. And if we just head down the garden here we are on the side border we've got the more alliums and the perennial um, sweet pea which, uh, which you'll know from an earlier video that we cut back and uh, yeah put on loads of growth so that'll grow up this this planter uh, support sorry and it'll be full of pink flower and the uh, the trees silver birch trees looking lovely quick update of some plants I've got in the conservatory then here we've got uh, calendula that you would have seen me so these are from my own seeds saved I've got begonias tubers six in there and as you can see they're starting to leaf up nicely all got full of buds so they're all doing really well here's the begonia plug plants that you saw me plant up look at those now those are looking great they're doing really well so they'll have to plant those out into the hanging baskets quite soon and just an update on the dahlias all these are ready for going out so if the weather's fine this weekend we'll uh, we'll get those get those out and here's the pot of cuttings that you saw me put together uh, again still doing really well and starting to put some growth on which is a, a sure sign that they've rooted. So we're going to leave them a little longer, but uh, looks like all those have rooted successfully. So looking, looking really good. Just want to share this with you as well. My son wanted to grow some cactus from seed. It's the first time I've attempted this. So we put some seeds in and as you can see, all doing really well I think at the last count there was about 20 plus seeds that have rooted I think they're going to need transplanting very soon um, but yeah the first time I've grown cactus from seed uh, I thought it was going to be quite difficult but to be honest it's really really easy so we'll be transplanting those soon um, or maybe my son's got the same green fingers as, as I have 
Right, so I'm going to plant up some Firestorm runner beans. These are the, these are the ones. These are the ones I've saved from seed uh, last year. I'm just going to put um, six in. I think I only need five, but I'm just going to put six in. And the way I'm going to plant it, I've got some multi-purpose compost mixed in with a bit of seed compost. And what I'm going to do, which you might see other people doing, is the humble toilet roll holder. So the cardboard tube that comes in between makes perfect for planting uh, both sunflowers and runner beans. So take your toilet roll holder, tube, palm your hand, compost, and just fill it up to almost the top. Squash it down, keep the base firm. Let's put a bit more in there. Then get your seed, pop it in, and then fill it up. Pat it down, and I'll just put that to one side, and we're just going to pop it in a plastic tray once I've done. We'll give them a water, um, but it's as easy as that. So I'm going to plant, I said six, that's one of them. Base of your hand, fill it up. The reason why you pot it in a toilet roll tube is when, you, when you've got growth and you want to pot it into the vegetable patch or allotment, you can just plant the whole tube and the cardboard will just disintegrate uh, in the soil, not cause any harm for anything. So you don't need to worry about plastic pots or anything like that. It's got a good root run. Just plant it straight into the soil. And away you go. So again, that's another one. Oh, that's three. Just another three to go for the for the beans. So again, just on the palm of your hand and fill it with Take your seed, oops, and in it goes. Some people say you plant them downwards on the edge, facing upwards. And I think if any of you watch Beach Grove gardening program, they're doing a trial at the minute to see what works best. Um, I think I even commented on videos where people have planted it on the edge or sideways or um, but feedback from from those growers suggests that they have a a hundred percent success rate so to be honest I don't think it I don't think it matters unless you know differently then uh, as with all my videos feel free to leave a comment in the comments box below so yeah so there you go that's six runner bean runner beans firestorm is the variety and we'll see how they do so pop it in a tray i'll just show you that so this is just a plastic tray i'm just going to stand them in there Again, these will just stay in the greenhouse. So I'm going to put the runner beans to one side and the sunflowers will go at the other side. Now when it comes to sunflowers, you'll see from the, the start of my video, there's a sunflower picture. That's from these seeds that I've saved just put them out so these were the seeds from that variety it's called giraffe it's supposed to be the tallest sunflower you can grow um, so these are my own saved seeds I'm going to pop 10 in and we'll see how we do and if any of you want to join me in this sunflower growing challenge see who can get the biggest then feel free to sow yours now I'm not going to do anything special with them 
Um, so let's just uh, sew these and see what happens. Let's pop some down there. Same sort of thing though. Toilet roll tube. Pat it down. Oops. Not like that. Toilet roll tube. Pat it down. Again, it gives it a good root run. One seed per station. Now with these, recommend planting with the point facing upwards. Pop that in. And there's your first one again with these because it's cardboard. You can just plant it in situ, wherever you want it to grow. And the cardboard will disintegrate. That way you're not, you're not disturbed the the root system. So sunflower seed pointing upwards, centre of the tube, cover it with compost, firm it down and once we've done them all we'll then give them a good water. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and please feel free to leave your comments and feedback below I'd love to hear from you so don't be shy and of course I'll reply see you soon